How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Should the Bears bring back Raheem Mostert to Chicago, and will they be moving on from Tariq Cohen in the future? Today, we're going to be answering these questions and many more in episode number 54 of Uncut. Welcome back to the show, guys. Been a slow week around here, but uh, we're waiting for training camp to start at the end of the month, so we will keep trying to push out as much content as possible for you guys. I am your host, Chris Malpe, and today I'm joined with my co-hosts, Part Shaw and Jalen McClinton. How's it going, guys? Doing decent. Like Chris said, it's been a slow week for us. It's been really hard to get out content, especially during these boring times, you could say. And it's also been really boring because there's no other sports going on. So that's about it. Uh, it's been good. You know, it's been a minute since I recorded with these boys, so happy to be back. Absolutely. Jalen is uh, back in Illinois in a couple of weeks, and let's hope that training camp can start up soon. Just to give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on in the NFL right now, before we start this video, let me pull up my Instagram page. There's been a lot going on recently in regards to preseason ritual and stuff like that. So this morning, teams were uh, informed that they will be forbidden from post-game interactions within six feet of each other. Jersey swaps will not be allowed. Media will not be allowed in the locker rooms, and teams must travel to the stadium via bus. So I don't know if that what that means about plane travel. I think that just means when you hop off a plane, you have to get right in a bus. Also, uh, the NFL and NFLPA are amidst discussions that will plan for potential player opt-outs in 2020. That opt-out date is yet to be reached. And finally... The NFL and NFLPA have reached an agreement in regards to team protocol traveling for the 2020 training camp and preseason. This document strongly implies that there will be a preseason, which is good for us Bears fans. You know, a lot of the Bears competitions are hinging on how the preseason goes. But, uh, you know, there's stuff in regards to disinfection of hotel rooms, airlines, equipment, luggage, and even stuff like food. Like, players can't have buffets together. They're going to have to have food delivered individually to them. What crazy times we live in right now. But we are going to get back to the topic of the video now. Comment below your thoughts on everything the NFL is doing and whether, you not, whether or not you think there will be a season. So, we are here today to talk about Raheem Mostert, the 49ers running back who has been in the league since 2015, really recently popped out and has requested a trade from the 49ers. So let me read you a tweet here from Brent Tesler from Tesler Sports, who is Mostert's uh, agent. After months of unproductive talks with the 49ers about fairly adjusting Mostert's contract, which paid him for special teams, we have requested a trade. Disappointing that it would come to this for a guy who led NFL running backs in yard per catch and helped lead them to a Super Bowl. So, you heard it from... Brent Tesler himself, or he Mostert, is looking to get out of San Francisco, and that is what we are here to talk about today. So just to quickly go over what Raheem Mostert's done in the last couple of years. In 2016, he was a part of the Bears for two games, didn't play any snaps at all, but I did not know that, so he was with the Bears for a, a little bit there, a, a chunk of a season. He then ended up in San Francisco since 2017, obviously 2019 was the career where he popped off uh, in his tweet, his agent said that he had the most yards per carry. That is true. He averaged 5.6 yards per carry in 2019 on 137 carries for 772 yards and eight touchdowns. Also had 14 receptions, 180 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. A very versatile back can do a little bit of it all. And I do believe that Mostert will get paid wherever he ends up going. So Parth, I want to pass it to you. Do you think Mostert could bring something special to Chicago if the Bears were looking to add another running back if they were looking to move on to tr from Tariq Cohen after the 2020 season? Um, I, I definitely think so. I think Raheem Mostert should be a target for Ryan Pace to attack. Uh, if we look at Mostert, he succeeded in Kyle Shanahan's offense, which is fairly similar to what Matt Nagy wants to run or can run with Mostert. So that would be a plus for Mostert. You know, you can stay in the same offense type of vibe. And then also, Tariq Cohen had a very down year last year, and David Montgomery is still unproven. I mean, I, I think David Montgomery's going to have a really great year this year, but having a guy like Mostert who can also carry the ball, um, you know, just in case if Montgomery gets hurt, you don't want a 5 6 dude being your running back one. No disrespect to Tariq Cohen, but like, he's way too short to be the RB1 for the Bears. And then if we look at the depth chart for the Bears, you got guys like Ryan Null and Artivius Pierce at the back and uh, who are unproven, who haven't had much snaps in the NFL. 
So bringing in like a guy like Mostert helps the Bears bring that three-headed running back monster back like we thought we could have had with Mike Davis last year, which turned out to be a terrible fluke. But I think Raheem Mostert's much more talented than Mike Davis, and it, he's he's capable to bring more success. And if he gets the right playing time, he can definitely be a great fit for the Bears. He was undrafted in the 2015 NFL Draft after being a running back at Purdue. But that being said, Mostert has definitely been able to crave out a nice career for himself. Jalen, what do you think? Do you think if he came to Chicago, he could provide some sort of difference, uh, I guess a change of pace on offense? I would I would say yes and no. I feel like he had that you know a huge playoff games in a, in a decent season last year due to the scheme he was in. Kyle Shanahan is an offensive mastermind. You know he let them he, that he, that offense basically led them to the Super Bowl. You know uh, ultimately they can win because of another great offense with Patrick Mahomes and stuff like that. But I don't think Matt Nagy has the great run a great run scheme like Kyle Shanahan does. Personally, I would have Tariq who's um, almost three years younger than Raheem Mostert. Yes, Tariq is on his contract here, and I think Mostert has like three years left or something like that. But, but due to just the age, and we, we might have to pay him because that's the reason why he requested a trade. Uh, he doesn't feel like he, he feel like he's undervalued. I'd rather just keep Tariq calling. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I think the Bears should bring in Mostert. Uh, we've talked about it a lot in the past, and I think we all agreed that Tariq Cohen isn't going to be in Chicago much longer. Uh, and we'll get to that question in a few about Tariq Cohen yet again. But I think we can all agree that he needs a very good season in Chicago in order to be able to earn an extension with the Bears. You look at uh, the running back market right now and how it's reset. I mean, Todd Gurley just signed a two-year deal for $10 million. Uh, he's getting $5 million a year, which I think is not even close to what he deserves with the Atlanta Falcons. So while the running back market is reset, I think bringing in Mostert and signing him to extension is something that could work out very well for the Bears. Uh, obviously, Cohen is here. Parth mentioned it earlier. Montgomery is someone who is looking to really evolve his game now, but it would still be nice to have a second running back that can punch you in the mouth. I'm not saying that Cohen can't do it, but he wasn't close to as productively able to do so in 2019. So I'm going to say, yeah, I I'm honestly for Raheem Moster coming to Chicago. Do I think it happens? No. But would I be for it or mad about it? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be mad whatsoever. So... Finally, to close this one off, we do have to talk a little bit about Tariq Cohen because I think if this were to happen, he would have to be some piece of the puzzle in some way. So obviously, Tariq Cohen, fourth-round pick in that 2017 NFL draft. He came in the same round as Eddie Jackson out of North Carolina A&T. Has been productive in Chicago, don't get me wrong, but that being said, he did have a down year in 2019, which lead a lot of people to believe that he may not be able to stay on the Bears much longer. The Human Joystick is a one-time Pro Bowler, also a one-time All-Pro. Uh, five career touchdowns as a running back with just over 1,000 uh, rushing yards on 250 carries, which is just over four yards per attempt. Not too bad, but that being said, Tariq Cohen, one thing we all know that he is super valuable for is his ability in the receiving game. 71 catches for 725 yards and five touchdowns, caught 78% of passes in 2018, that incredible season where the Bears went 12-4 and won the NFC North. But in 2019, Cohen had eight more catches, ended up with 79, and almost 300 less receiving yards with 456, also down two touchdowns with three and he had a lot of fumbles. I think Pro Football uh, Focus said he had somewhere between 9 to 11 fumbles. So not the greatest year for Cohen in 2019. But Parth, I want to ask you, do you think Cohen stays on the team past 2020? And what does he have to do to keep his spot on the team here in, uh, past 2020 and earn that extension that he wants in Chicago? I think he needs to prove himself as a wide receiver again. Uh, we saw in 2018, 700 yards is great year for any running back out of the receiving end so if Cohen can prove himself as a wide receiver because the Bears wide receivers if we look at it, it's Allen Robinson Anthony Miller and then the rest are pretty much unproven or new to the team so I think if Cohen wants another spot on the team and gets a long-term extension he needs to prove himself as a wide receiver again um, a lot of it falls on Matt Nagy at the end of the day and the quarterback play uh, last year Mitchell Trubisky was not great at all not even good at most of the season I would say and Matt Nagy himself as a play call caller struggled he tried to do too much. I think we just need to go back to simple offense, you know, let Cohen do his thing. You know, Cohen's a very, like you said, he's the human joystick. If he has the ball, he can make his play. Just get get Cohen the ball and he can do his thing. Yeah, that's a very good point you bring up. You know, the Bears' wide receivers are looking to be a little bit better. Riley Ridley is someone that 
uh, wide receivers coach Mike Furry has had a lot to say about. Obviously added Darnell Mooney. But I would argue, other than uh, Robinson and Miller, the only one that's proven is Ted Ginn. And Ted Ginn yeah. is entering his 14th season in the league. But that being said, I like what you bring up. Cohen did have 10.2 yards per reception in 2018, that magical season. And I think if he can up his game again, you know, I feel like defense has figured him out a little bit there in 2019. And if he can get somehow, you know, I felt like he was a sideline magnet there in 2019. But that being said... Yeah. I know what he can do in open field. I know he's a special player, but he will need to have a 2018-like season if he does want to earn an extension in Chicago, at least in my eyes. So, Jalen, I want to ask you, Bears, you know, might bring in another running back. That being said, what does Tariq Cohen need to get done here in 2020 if he wants to earn an extension in Chicago? I'm going to go with uh, Parks. Uh, you know, he's a great receiving back for him to be so short at 5'6". I'm taller than him, and I'm not the tallest person in the world at all. So if he can do that against NFL talent who are usually, you know, bigger, taller uh, people in, in this world, I, I definitely feel like that, that's going to keep him on this team. That's what he did in 2018. That's what got him a Pro Bowl spot. That's what got him an uh, All-Pro not as well. Um, and put, get the ball, put the ball back in his hands. Last season, he, he didn't have his – any close to uh, as many touches as he had in 2018 last year. I feel like now he just forgot how to use him. I don't I don't know how you forget how to use Tariq Cohen, who is a do-it-all type player. He can run the ball, he can catch the ball. And when he needs to, he can throw touchdowns. We've see, we seen him do that in the, the, since he's been playing with us. He's threw a couple touchdowns here and there. Um, hmm. like, like I said, just put the ball in, just put the ball in his hands in open space. Nobody can touch Tariq. Yeah. He's, he's safety. He's small. And, you yeah, know, that, that's about it. I will say one last thing about Mostert that is attractive about him. What's what's Cohen's height? I don't exactly know. 5'6", five, five, six. Five, six, yeah. Uh, Mostert is 5'10", 200 pounds, so a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit more of a hybrid back if he was brought to Chicago. But that will pretty much do it for episode number 54 of Uncut. Uh, we're a little bit rusty, so sorry if it sounds like we're off our game. It's been a while since we've all recorded together. But that's, that being said, we appreciate the support. If you want more content from us, head over to our website, BearDown.com. You can find columns, articles, and blogs on there. If you are on Instagram and Twitter, you can also find the podcast at BearDown on both platforms. And you can find the links to our social media fan pages on Instagram down in the description. Jalen McClinton, Parshaw, I feel like I'm out of breath. It's been a while since I've recorded a podcast. <laughs> but that being said, any last words, guys? Um, uh, I mean, it's not football, but I think the NBA bubble is starting up again. A lot of teams came into Orlando. I think that's where it is. So hopefully that starts up soon because I need some sports back in my life. Thanks. Uh, I can't wait till basketball to return. Uh, Zion is looking humongous more than he even was before. Um, Arizona, sadly, Arizona got closed again due to all the coronavirus surging. So if you're in Arizona right now, hope you're staying safe, washing your hands, and uh, bear down. Also respect any, uh, any people that are in Arizona that are uh... – Still rooting for the Bears because I know that's tough to do down there. Cardinals fans are definitely very passionate about their team. But, yeah, uh, NBA starting back up soon. Let's just hope that NFL training camps can start on time, uh, even though it's still been pushed back from last year. I'm hoping uh, by the end of July we can get something going and uh, we can finally see this quarterback competition and all these other competitions in training camps start to unfold. It's been a pleasure to be your host once again, guys. My name is Chris Malpe. Do us a favor, subscribe by clicking the red button if you did enjoy the video. Also, do us a favor, click the bell for notifications whenever we post. We live premiere all our videos, so that's how you'll know whenever we are posting. Also, if you are returning to the channel and enjoyed this one, do us a favor and click the like button. Bears fans, do us a favor, continue to stay safe. Uh, Crazy times right now, but that being said, we're going to continue to push out as much content as humanly possible for you guys. And as always, bear down. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.